Electricity and Water Authority Chief Executive Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim bin Hamad Al Khalifa has said that 790 projects have been implemented to develop the electricity network in Bahrain at a total cost of 23,540,000 dinars. In a statement to the press, Sheikh Nawaf said that 752 projects were implemented to develop a 400 volt capacity electricity network at a cost of 5,640,000 dinars, and 38 other projects were implemented to develop an 11 kilovolt capacity electricity network at a cost of 17,900,000 dinars. He stressed that the Electricity and Water Authority has also allocated 40 million dinars to develop the project major electricity network and has taken the necessary, measure, the necessary measures to meet increasing power demand during the summer period. A supervisory team from the management of construction projects at the Ministry of Works paid an inspection visit today to the construction site of the new haematology unit at Salminia Medical Complex to follow up on the phases of construction that have reached 98% of the nearly $3 million project in our project. Works Assistant Undersecretary for Construction and Maintenance Project, Engineer Mun Ajasim Al Mutawa, said work on the four story project began on the 19th of January 2011 and aims to accommodate 50 patients in line with the Works Ministry's medical service expansion plan for citizens and resident patients in Salminia complex. The latest figures released by various public and private sector organisations indicate that the proportion of Bahraini women in the labour force has increased from 4.9% in 1971 to 33.5% in 2010. The figures show that the number of women joining the public sector has increased by 46.8% of the total workforce, while in the private sector it has increased by 29.5% of the total workforce. The increase has been attributed to the high level of education of Bahraini women, women empowerment programs and initiatives, and women-friendly legislation, which have largely contributed to boosting women's efficiency, productivity and competitiveness. In celebrating Eid al-Fitr, it is a custom for the people of Bahrain to eat traditional food and sweets. The traditional Eid lunch on the first day is popular among families, as this is an occasion for them to reunite and enjoy the day. It not only, it's not only households who are busy during this period, but also restaurants who take advance orders for lunch and dinners. Walking through Bahrain's leading malls and hypermarkets, one can see numerous promotions and offers to tempt the crowds of Bahraini and GCC visitors. Expatriate clubs in Bahrain also line up activities over the long Eid break so that Bahrain residents can have a good time with their families. With thousands of visitors expected to enter Bahrain via the King Fahad Causeway and through the airport, Bahrain authorities will work around the clock to oversee the workflow and preparations for processing the travel movement over Eid al-Fitr holidays. Eid al-Fitr, or the Feast of Breaking Fast, is one of the most important Muslim festivals and it, is, and it has its own traditions and customs. Marking the end of the fasting month of Ramadan, Eid al-Fitr is celebrated in various ways in different countries, but there are some rituals common to the Muslim community across the world. The Eid day starts with a small snack followed by Eid prayers in congregations attended by men, women and children, in which the sermon reminds people of the virtues and good deeds they should do unto others during Eid throughout the year. There is a wide range of customs and traditions that mark the Eid al-Fitr celebrations in various countries in the Arab world, Africa, the Far East and even the Pacific. But in general, it, look, it is looked upon as a day for families rather than public celebration. The day always starts with special Eid prayers followed later in the day by a large celebratory lunch at the house of a senior member of the family. In many Arab countries, people enjoy Eid by visiting family members and friends, dining out at restaurants, going to parks, cinemas, theatres and the beach. The family's gathering involved cooking and eating different kinds of food, sweets and cookies, filled with dates or nuts and covered with powdered sugar. It is customary for family members and children to receive special gifts called idea from adult relatives. This is a small sum of money that they receive and is used to spend on all their activities throughout the Eid. 
Eid is a time of reflection, forgiveness and charity. It also shows unity among the Muslim community across the world. During Eid, Muslims are encouraged to forgive anyone. The General Directorate of Nationalities, Passports and Residencies has said that close to 184,000 people entered Bahrain between the 1st and 7th of August. The, ass the Assistant Undersecretary for Exit Search and Follow-up said around 159,000 people arrived in Bahrain from Saudi Arabia and other GCC countries via the King Fahad Causeway. 25,140 people arrived through Bahrain International Airport, while 190 people through the seaport. Bahrain is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the Middle East, hosting over 2 million tourists every year.